will speak of my humility, will speak of my person, my persona, my down-to-earth nature, and far from it. And far from it. And if I was, I was misunderstood, because I certainly was, I want to say to the youth of Kenya, to the women of Kenya, who got angry by my statement, that I don't withdraw because I use tampons, but I am sorry for angering you, and I am one of those fighters of uh, the young generation. And I know they were very disappointed that I did not join in this, in this um, what they were agitating for against the finance bill, but it is because I believe in the president, William Samoy Ruto. And it is up to me to convince you young people that our president has the best intentions for this country. It is not up to me to join you in your misinformation. It is up to me as, his, as an ambassador of this government to show you and to win you over and to tell you, be patient. The president is working. He has shown a lot of goodwill so far. He has appointed a task force to audit our public debt, which is one of the biggest reasons why we are here today, our public debt. The Finance Bill 2024 was tailored to remedy some of those things, especially the, fin the, the um, public debt, to balance that and development, Mr. Speaker. Another thing that may my colleagues have also addressed is the issue of corruption. Mr. Speaker, the EACC is letting the country down big time. Because since its inception, we, have no, we are yet to see heads rolling, Mr. Speaker. We are yet to see a, the cases, corruption cases that they have, prosecuted, they have prosecuted that have ended up having people serve jail term or what our people would love to see, Mr. Speaker. It should not be business as usual. If they cannot deliver to our people the EACC, let it be disbanded, and let us have another body that is going to deliver to the people of Kenya. The excuses that they, they give every other time will not fly anymore. And Mr. Speaker, I want to talk to the young people of Kenya and I want to tell you to take voters' cards. Register as voters, all of you. The voice that we had, your voice that we had, it will be more powerful if it is heard through the ballot box, Mr. Speaker. And I want to assure you that in 2027, you will have no better candidate. You will agree with me that you will have no better candidate than His Excellency William Samoy Ruto. The other day he said the measures he's taking now are akin to a cut, an examination cut. And in the fullness of time, in five years, he is going to sit for the exam. And on that time, when that time comes, I know you will all agree with me. So when that time comes for voters' registration, I expect all of you who are in the streets to take voters' card. And with those few remarks, Mr. Speaker, I support. Senator Ranchesa. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, for also allowing me to make my contribution on the state uh, of the nation. Uh, first, Mr. Speaker, let me just first uh, start by conveying my condolences to the families that uh, lost their loved ones in the current uh, uh, Mandamano. Uh, 